Arrest me now! Do you have anyone from Brooklyn in? Oh my gosh, one person. That's, uh, whereabouts in Brooklyn? Park Slope. Oh, which part of Park Slope? I'm in 3rd uh, Street, South. Oh, you make more money than me. I, 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 live, uh, I live right down below 16th Street, so that's... Uh, te I mean, usually I'm like, Park Slope, it's South Slope. It's uh, for the people who don't work in finance. What do, you, what do you do to afford that high up in Park Slope? You work in finance, yeah. <laughs> Fucking genius. Absolute genius, that's good. If that's not true, you have perfect comedic timing. Well done. Um, are you married to an architect by perchance? Single. You're single? Wonderful stuff. Well, my, my wife hasn't seemed open to being a thruple. But if I say she lives on 3rd Street, <laughs> 7th Avenue as well, so that's only a couple avenues away from the actual park itself. Are you, are you, for those of you that don't know, Park Slope is really very fancy. That's like Matt Damon used to live down there. Julia Stiles lives there, if you remember who she is. Um, there's some people, some other people, there's famous people who live around there. Steve Bashimi lives there, doesn't he? That guy just said nice, and she said, I imagine. Why, why don't you know about your name? You should know that Steve Bashimi. Oh, and Penn Badgley. Penn Badgley does live there, but I don't know who that is. <laughs> Gossip Girl. Yes, yes. And, and you? He's the serial killer in you, is that right? Yes, yes. Holy shit. No wonder he lives in Park Slope. Silly. You're a, you're a jovial figure. <laughs> Both of you did a spit take then. That was very good. You, uh, you, so the, what, what's the uh, pals here? So jo jovial man. What's your name? Thomas, hello, Thomas. Uh, you go by, how, how am I? So polite. <laughs> Fuck the rest of you, that is how. <laughs> you know, most comedy is like, question, who are you, what do you do? But they're like, no, who are you and what do you do? <laughs> well, they said my name and it should be apparent what I'm attempting, but <laughs> how am I? I'm quite well, Thomas. I, was, I wasn't as good and then I had this chat and I thought, yeah, this is really good. Um, you're, you're a spectacle wearer, what's your prescription, Thomas? You have to know your prescription, Thomas. Come on. When was the last time you had your eyes checked? Oh, no, Thomas, come on. Regularly, every two years, you have to do it. There's problem. Macular degeneration is a problem. Am I depressed? He's taken. Like I look like a blur. So, it's, I mean, I can, I can tell you what, what your prescription is if you want. <laughs> What's he doing? Whoa. <laughs> Fucking live on stage optometry. Well, you're not that bad. But, I mean, well, so your right eye is much worse than your left based on the thickness of the lens. Do you pay extra for the thinner lenses? Okay, and these are quite light frames as well. So Thomas is, he's not using Zenny, guys. <laughs> oh, you fucking blind boy. <laughs> oh, it's like I just. Did... <laughs> this is what I. Oh. Okay, I mean, I said your right eye was much worse than your left. That's not saying much, because they're equally fucked. <laughs> You've also not cleaned these for weeks. This is filthy. You've also got a really wide head. <laughs> there's, some, there's some breadth to your skull, which, if you're a phrenologist, does speak to a high intelligence and good moral character. But uh, let's not bring phrenology up. Um, you're in the middle. You've got perfect vision? No, you, you wear contacts. Smart. And then you? Perfect vision. Fuck you, Thomas. <laughs> Fuck you. What's your name, perfect vision boy? William. William. Thomas and William. Did you guys know that a British man was coming and you were like, let's put some British names in the middle? Thomas and William. You don't meet many Thomases and Williams anymore. I mean, like, look, like what's your name, fucking American? Mexican. You're Mexican? <laughs> Central American, whatever, it's still. I think, I think Mexican counts as American. This, you're on, there's North, Central, and South America. In the Mexican American War, America defeated Mexico, it took control of Mexico City. They could have made Mexico a state of the Union, they didn't. Yes, you do. Okay, shit, oh fuck, okay, fuck. <laughs> Why? Yes, no, go, go for it, go for it. Yes, yes, good, fuck two of them, shit. Oh my God, it's turning into a line outside Home Depot here. What is, um... I only said that because I knew it was offensive. 
Mex Mexico, Mexico. It is America. They think America is U.S. Exactly. I agree. I agree. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. There we go. Everyone else over is like, fuck no, America, 50 states. We don't want no Puerto Ricans coming in here. She's Mexican. All sound the same to me. I don't want no Hawaiians. That's already a state. Not to me. Amazing. Well, I, I agree. Well, um, so what, what is your name? Juan. Juan. The most Mexican name. <laughs> It really is. It's lovely. But that's, that's essentially... Juan is... What, what's the kind of European equivalent of Juan? John. There you go. That's super fucking English, isn't it? <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Right. So we've got a big old blind boy. We've got uh, Juan. What do you do, Juan? I'm making the name sound more exotic every time. At the start, it was like, hey, Juan. And now it's like, Juan. Hey, Juan. It's going to sound Korean pretty soon. Juan. <laughs> Hey, Juan. Um, Juan, what? Juan. Juan, what do you do? You're very handsome, Juan. Juansome. Yeah, you like it. Well, what do you do, Juan? In finance. Fucking. He's not single, but he's looking for a green card. So. I also am here on a green card, but. Uh... Okay, cool. So, uh, blind boy Thomas, what's your what's your job? A what? An accountant. A cop. A cop in Queens. <laughs> what's your beat? Because I reckon the 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 filth on those glasses. If I did a crime, you'd be like, I cannot identify this prick for the life of me. You are you're a police officer in Queens. Oh my god, that's that's very cool. <laughs> I'm not going to be mean to him now, because um, you know the 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 G the G goes from Queens to Park Slope. So, although it's not going to be running for three months in the summer, I'll do my I'll be mean to you then. Um, great. What is what is? Let's keep this. Let's be sensible. What is a fun a fun crime <laughs> that you had to deal with recently? Oh, it's hard for him to think of one. A fun crime. A fun, nothing bad. No crime, just, uh, I guess bringing people to the hospital. Bringing people to the hospital. Is that, that's fun for you? In <laughs> <laughs> bringing people to the hospital. That's cool. Well, at least you took them there rather than just, you know, left them. Um, and then, and then, <laughs> William, what, what do you do? I'm a manager. You're a manager of? A hardware store? Oh. Um, what? <laughs> Arrest me now! Does that not count as hate speech? That was rude what I said. Manager of a hardware store. Brilliant. Hardware store manager. Juan the Mexican. Who's in finance. And Park Slope finance woman. We'll leave you out of this. William the blind cop. Thomas, sorry, sorry, I am sorry. Okay, let's do it, DJ Armstead. Let's uh, let's 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 do some stuff. Holy shit! You didn't ask me, Thomas, what I wanted to be when I was older. I know I didn't. Wait, what, 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 do you want to ask me now? Ask me what I wanted to be when I was older. I wanted to be a rapper, Thomas. And so, <laughs> this is okay. Cool. Here we go. A rap with no plan from a silly British man Thomas, that's a nice chap there William got the name switched up Got it back to front He's there in Queens If you're on the run He'll confront anybody See you on the street Take a crazy person down right there When you're on the beat I'll be on the beat myself But I do it musically Even though try to arrest you But he can't see You could steal shit And then run past it You mean when you're there in Queens He wearing glasses He's like, okay Anytime you offend I should be 
be like the lady with the contact lens but sadly it's a real imposition I wear the glasses my admission don't know the prescription I ain't cleaned them for several weeks okay now we got William he speaks I'm William a name like the prince there in your country he's a cop but he never hunts me down I'm the manager I can handle it or with care in the store that provides basically hardware power tools two by fours cabling all the stuff building shit it's the same thing lovely things for the kitchen and the doors knobs for the window Windows, things for the floor. I've never been a hardware store in my life, but if you look outside, you might see one in the line. Nah, that wouldn't help. Let's be hysterical. That was so racist. It's all America. Crowd go mental. They're in the central, south and the north. Yeah, I'm glad that we sent to over here. I'm like, it's such a shame. This guy looking so American, American name. He's like, basically it's John, but pronounce it differently. Juan, Juan, Juan. Yeah, repeat it with glee. I can say it loud. I can say it proud hope do you want to marry a lady in park slope she got a lot of cash take the chance both of your team up work in finance you be there like no gripping his leg are you the girlfriend the one giving the head no that's rude i'm not being mean okay yo he'd be standing up like i fucking love this show what's your name what's your name <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I'm throwing it back. I'll be on stage. Basically, this is a battle rap. We do it back to front. Yeah, have a look. See, not you. You're blind. That's a very fly hoodie. Appreciate the one person standing ovation. Appreciate the cops and the Mexican nation. It's about time to vanish. Offending the Hispanics. Offending the cops and the guys who manage. There we go. A guy rapping top class. Thomas, after the show, wipe those glasses or maybe get some advice from your friends and finally arrest people with the contact lens, yeah. <laughs> you guys are lovely, um, what, a, what a pleasure. My name is Chris Turner, thank you and goodbye. Thank you.